Ship-to-ship -ship refueling is finally a reality in Star Citizen. Owners of the Starfare and Starfare Gemini will now find a new fuel console on the bridge of their ships, as well as the ability to fuel up their tanks and provide fuel to other players as a service. Starfare owners refueling at landing zones will not only have the option to refuel their personal storage tanks with hydrogen and quantum fuel, but also the ability to fill the six external fuel pods as well. Selecting hydrogen or quantum options from the new ship maintenance interface will show the ship's current fuel tanks as well as the six detachable storage pods. Each individual pod can only be filled with one type of fuel at a time, but you can fill multiple fuel types and pods simultaneously. The slider on each pod allows the pilot to specify the amount of that fuel type they wish to purchase from the local station. Once the order is submitted, the station will begin to fill the pods of the same fuel type simultaneously and then move on to the next fuel type. This can be monitored from the fueling console. Any attempt to take off during this procedure will interrupt the fueling procedure and result in an incomplete top-up. Let's look at the refueling console. The refueling console is broken down into three main sections with an additional pod management sub-interface allowing for more granular control. The first section allows the captain to specify the price for hydrogen and quantum fuel by either setting a price manually or by using the auto button which calculates the price automatically. The auto price currently sets the value to 10% more than the original fuel price paid. The second section controls the operation of the boom arm, which allows for ship-to-ship -ship docking when deployed. We also find the docking and payment status here, as well as the ship name, pilot, and ship type that is currently docked. The third section displays the details about the fuel type and percentages in each pod. It also allows the opening and closing of the fuel nozzle to control the fuel flow rate to the docked ship. The real-time status of the ship-to-ship -ship refueling process is shown here as well. Clicking the pod management button brings us to a subsection of the UI which allows the control of opening and closing each specific fuel pod. This will be required when either transferring fuel between pods or allowing fuel to flow externally to another ship via the boom and nozzle. We also have control of the boom, nozzle state and flow rate on this screen as well. Each pod has three buttons to control the directional flow of fuel. The up arrow pointing away from the center line is the pump position. This opens the pod for fuel intake and allows fuel to flow into it from other pods of the same fuel type. The square is the closed position. This closes the pod completely. The arrow pointing towards the center line is the open position. This allows fuel to flow to other pods or to the main nozzle for ship-to-ship -ship refueling. The controls for each pod can also be accessed locally on the back catwalk of the Starfare, but the nozzle and flow rate can only be controlled from the terminal on the bridge. To transfer from one pod to another, put the destination pod in the pump position and open the pod of the same fuel type that you want to source from. Fuel will slowly begin to transfer between the pods. Once the desired level of transfer is complete, close the pods to terminate the transfer. Let's walk through the refueling procedure. Start by setting the agreed fuel prices for each fuel type on the refueling console and lock them in when satisfied. Clicking on the deploy boom button at this point will extend the arm from the rear of the ship giving a clear indication you are now open for business to any ships currently on grid. When the boom is deployed, the requesting ship will target the Starfarer with T and press the N key to request docking. The Starfarer pilot will receive an indication on screen and may choose to accept or deny the docking request. Once accepted, the requesting ship can either manually dock or hold down N to initiate the auto docking procedure and attach the fuel intake to the Starfarer's nozzle. After docking, the requesting ship will open their Moby Glass and select the Vehicle Maintenance Services app. This will bring up an interface showing several pieces of information. On the left will be the fuel capacity and prices of the fueling ship they are docked with. In the middle will be a listing of the requesting ship's internal fuel tanks and level status, each with a slider that can be adjusted to request the amount of fuel to be filled in each tank. Using the sliders will change the requested fuel amount and total cost listed on the right. The total amount of Alpha UEC required for the fuel transfer will be put in escrow and will be deducted as fueling takes place. If the fueling procedure is aborted or interrupted by either pilot, any funds for outstanding fuel will be returned to the requester from escrow. Once satisfied, the requesting ship can submit their fueling request. A notification will then be sent to the fueling ship signaling them to begin the refueling process. The fueling ship will be given a listing of fuel requested. Similar to station refueling, only one type of fuel can be filled at a time. 
Click on the pod management interface and open a pod containing the requested fuel type you're going to fill first. Alternatively, this step can be done by personnel on the catwalk, but the nozzle and flow will need to be controlled by the operator at the bridge console. Once the pod is ready, open the nozzle and ensure the display status turns from red to green. Slowly adjust the flow rate slider to begin fueling the ship. The flow rate needs to stay within the rated range of the nozzle. Opening the flow rate up too much will result in spillage and lost fuel. This will also result in the nozzle beginning to take damage over time, which is represented by an orange bar around the nozzle. If allowed to continue, the timer bar will eventually tick down and the nozzle will explode and be destroyed. Once the first type of fuel has been delivered, repeat the process for the other fuel type. Once complete, close the nozzle and close off any remaining tanks and click the overview button to head back to the main screen. The requesting pilot will receive an indication that refueling is complete and can hold N to initiate the undocking procedure. The Starfarer pilot can also press the abort button which will force the undocking as well. If you haven't blown your fuel nozzle apart, retract the boom and head on to your next adventure. If you have blown it off, not to worry, you can stop by your favorite ship shop and pick up some replacements. I hope this has been helpful. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more great Star Citizen content. Thanks for watching.